Hey guys, so today's review is going to be on a Preferred Fragrance perfume. Preferred Fragrance is a company that makes knockoffs of designer perfumes. And you can find these perfumes for around $3.50. Um, I get them at Rainbow, at Big Lots, and at Family Dollar. I buy all of my perfumes with my own money. I'm not associated with Preferred Fragrance or anything like that. I was just really impressed by their perfumes. Um, some of them smell so similar to what they are a impression of. And I really just wanted to share them with you guys. So I've been doing a review on each one. And um, this review I've actually done a few times for this specific perfume. I think I've done it four times now and every single time something goes wrong with the video. Um, where it comes out blurry and I, I don't know why this is the only review that I've had to film over and over and over again. So this impression is the impression of Mine Again by Mariah Carey. Um, Mine Again was in her Lollipop Bling set and basically you, if you watched the last video I just made on Honey they looked like this if you bought the actual Lollipop Bling ones. You can get the um, full size bottles of these but if you buy the Lollipop Bling set they look like little lollipops and they're just little roller balls. So this is Honey and this is mine again. What's really nice about Preferred Fragrance is if you don't know for sure if you're going to like a perfume, you can try out these impression perfumes and get an idea of what the real thing is going to be like before you go out and pay the full price for the real one. And, um, I mean, the Lollipop Link set's not really expensive. It's $20, but you just get three roller balls. I definitely am glad that I just have the roller balls. I like these, but they're not something that I would... <coughs> probably wear a ridiculous amount um, if I had the full size bottles. They're very, 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 very sweet. Mine again is a very sugary sweet smell. The impression for mine again is called Pink Candy. I did mention this in my last video. Um, Mariah Carey's perfumes are all in these little round bottles with a butterfly on the top. Uh, preferred fragrance tends to make their bottles and their the boxes very similar to what they are an impression of. Um, in this case, the bottles don't really, well, they don't look like um, what they're an impression for. But the cool thing is, um, Preferred Fragrance has made sure that any of the Mariah Carey perfumes that they make are in these kind of bottles. So this is Honey, and this is Pink Candy, and as you can see, they are in the same bottles. So I think that's really cool because when these are all sitting on my dresser, I know which ones are my Mariah Carey impressions. Um, and they just, I think they're still cute bottles, even though they don't look exactly the same. They just kind of have like a weird kind of diamond shape to them, and they're very pretty. That is one thing that I really do like about Preferred Fragrance. The bottles are not cheap, plastic, crappy looking things that you wouldn't want out. Um, they're very nice glass. Um, the lids sometimes can be pretty cheap and they do break sometimes. Um, uh, this one, for example, I don't know if you can see it at all, but it is cracked already and it doesn't sit on there quite as nicely as I would like it to because it is kind of broken. But for $3.50, I'm not really going to complain about it. So the impression, I absolutely loved it when I bought it. I actually think I bought this impression before I bought the Lollipop Bling set. So this one just smells like sugary, sweet um, candy. Like there's no other way to really describe it. It's, it smells like candy. So if you like sugary, sweet, um, candy smelling, cotton candy type perfumes, you're really going to like Pink Candy. Um, my husband loves this one. Men seem to like like kind of food smelling perfumes. And um, my husband definitely likes this one. When you spray this one on your skin, it's just so sweet and so sugary. And you get a lot of vanilla in it. And I would say that this one lasts pretty good on your skin. It's, I find that the sugary sweet ones don't always last very long. Um, I think this one probably lasts probably around five hours. Um, this one 
the mine again. Actually, I don't find that this one lasts very long at all. I, I would say that they last probably close to the same amount. Um, the one difference that I've really noticed with mine again is it changes. It develops on your skin like um, a more expensive perfume would. So basically your top notes are the notes that you're going to smell initially, then you're going to start to smell the middle notes, and then you end up with the base notes. And this one you can definitely smell it as it develops in the base notes, and I don't really... I think the longer I wear this one, the less I like it. Um, the, I, I, I still like it. It's not like gross smelling or anything like that. But it's not that sugary sweetness that this one is um, near the end. The base notes are a little different, a little deeper, and there's just, there's still a lot of vanilla smell, but there's not as much sugariness to me. I think if I had to choose which one I was going to wear, I'm probably going to grab for Pink Candy more, just because I like the sugary cotton candy type smell of this one. Um, but I still like this one. I still think it's pretty. I, I think what I like about the Mariah Carey lollipop bling ones is they have more of like a warm sweet smell the longer that you wear them. Um, both this one and Honey I've noticed they kind of warm up on your skin and this just stays kind of the same. It doesn't really it doesn't really change. It's just like straight sugar to me once it's been on my skin for a little bit. So, uh, I guess it just depends. I'm Sometimes I'll lean more towards this one and sometimes more towards this one. But I really like them both. They last about the same length of time. Um, and this one you can definitely find. I found this one, I think I got it at Big Lots with the perfume, um, the travel perfume, and the lotion for five dollars in this little case and um, honestly the lotion wasn't great so it's just sitting on my dresser and I don't really use it. The lotion doesn't really smell like this which kind of makes me sad. So I know you can find this at Big Lots probably more towards like Christmas time they start to get more and then they get them around like Easter I think or spring sometime in the spring at Big Lots. Um, Rainbow you could check out I don't know if I've seen any of the Mariah Carey knockoffs recently at my rainbow, but I think they all carry different ones, so. And I'm pretty sure I asked the lady the one day, and she told me that they get whatever preferred fragrance sends to them, so it's not really like they know what they're going to get. Um, just preferred fragrance sends them some perfumes, and that's what's there. So, and I know that... I used to tell you guys to go to PerfumeAromatics.com. That website is down and Preferred Fragrance is not working with them anymore. So I don't really know of an online website that's really worth it unless you don't have Rainbow Big Lots or Family Dollar where you live. Um, but I am hoping to find you guys a good resource very soon online to buy these perfumes so sorry I haven't updated my videos I get a lot of comments from people saying the website's down yes it's down um, I, I'm sorry I will let you guys know when I find something or some place that you guys can get this online for a reasonable price um, but I am going to be doing a giveaway very very soon and I plan to put um, some bottles of preferred fragrance perfume in there. So if you guys have any ideas of what kind of perfumes you'd like to see in my fall giveaway, um, just let me know. Uh, if you know of names of some of the preferred fragrance perfumes that you'd like to see in there, um, just let me know. I would love some ideas. Um, I have some ideas of my own, but anything that you guys would like to request in there, I would love to hear. Um, but yeah, that will be coming up very, very soon. So... <laughs> Now that I've blabbered on for way too long, I am going to read you guys the notes in mine again, and then I'll re read you the notes in Pink Candy, <laughs> Pink Candy, just so you guys can see the difference um, in the notes that are in both perfumes. 
Um, so I'll start with mine again. Uh, the top notes are red currant, blood orange, heliotrope. Middle notes are magnolia, raspberry, chocolate, and cotton candy. Base notes are musk, tonka bean, and vanilla. And you can definitely get that little bit of muskiness um, once you've worn this for a little bit. Um, okay, so now I'm going to read you the notes of pink candy. So the top notes are cherries, mandarin, and strawberry. The middle notes are mimosas, peonies, and wild cyclamen. Uh, the base notes are heliotrope, tonka bean, and vanilla. So this one doesn't have a musk to it, which makes sense to me. It, it definitely doesn't have any muskiness whatsoever. It's just sweet, sugary goodness. So that is basically everything I wanted to share with you guys. If you guys, if I left anything out, um, just put your question or comment below. And if you like this video, please like and subscribe. And thank you guys so much for watching. Bye.